Hi guys, it's Devin here, and today we're having a special edition of Just the Tips. We're here to show you Cooler Master's biggest little build and how you can make one too, all by yourself, when you're alone at home and you can't leave because of, well, you know what I'm talking about. Technology's been getting smaller and better for years now, and PC builds are no different. Instead of 50-pound behemoths with jet engine fans, some actually prefer to go smaller, sleeker, and more discreet. Nowadays, you have all the resources to build a premium rig with off-the-chart performance, all in a case that's a fraction of the size. But where do you even start? Well, thankfully, a combo of Cooler Master gear and ingenuity will net you a mighty PC that can hang with the best of them. Let's begin with the most important piece of the puzzle, the case. The brand new NR200 Mini Tower is Cooler Master's first foray into smaller form factors, and we've smartly organized the internals so that you can make the most out of limited real estate. From there, it's just a matter of understanding where your components go and which ones are best suited for a mini tower. Think of it like PC building Tetris. Due to the limited space, mini builds require deliberate planning, so we recommend the process as follows. Step one, install the PSU. Step two, mount your motherboard. Step three, mount your radiator. You'll want to tackle the PSU first so that you can get your cables in place as you build. Yes, you typically do all the cabling at the end, but that's not really possible in a small form factor. See what we mean by deliberate planning? For this system, we love the V850 SFX Gold. This is Cooler Master's first SFX PSU. It has all the juice of the critically acclaimed V Gold just in a smaller package. 80 plus gold efficiency, semi-fanless FDB fan, and a 10-year warranty, the works. On top of that, it's fully modular with shorter cables to save space, perfect for a build like this. We also love that it comes with an SFX to ATX adapter. This allows you to use it in any case ranging from a mini ITX case all the way up to an EATX full tower case. First, you're going to want to connect all your system cables to the PSU. The VSFX Gold has the connectors to power a 2 GPU build easily, so whatever you're trying to build shouldn't be a problem. Then it's time to mount the power supply. The NR200 is nice because you can mount the PSU to a two position bracket, allowing additional clearance for a longer GPU at the highest position. Step two, mount your motherboard. We're using the MSI Z490i Mini ITX motherboard. It's a great option for small form factor gaming systems. We like building our motherboard before we mount it, but that's just personal preference. We install everything, but we save the GPU and cooler for later. Then you mount the motherboard to the holes on the back plate, just like in any other case. Next, install your radiator. The NR200 has a special bracket that allows you to install your radiator to the side panel opposite the motherboard. We're using the Cooler Master ML240 V2 liquid cooler. This cooler comes equipped with our exclusive dual chamber design, specially engineered in-house to deliver improvements to cooling performance, heat dissipation, noise levels, and appearance. Some might even say it's pound for pound the best AIO liquid cooler in the market right now. We recommend this side mounting for the best airflow performance and use of space, but if you want to do a vertical GPU installation, you can mount it to the bottom. It's just not the optimum build layout for airflow circulation. Finally, install your GPU along with any other additional drives you want in your build. We're using the MSI RTX 2060. Any full-size GPU up to 330 millimeters will fit just fine. As for extra drives, the NR200 has enough ports to support three SSDs. Don't forget to cable as you go rather than wait till the end. Procrastination will only get you in further trouble with this mini rig. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for everybody, plug in that main power cable and press the power button. Your brand new mini beast of a rig should be good to go. So that's that. Like if you liked, follow, hit that bell so you can see me on the weekly. Are you rocking a mini case or looking to build one out? Let us know down below. And until next time, catch you on the tip side.